the attended three Los Angeles Chargers are going to be having probably their toughest test of the season here against the also 10 and 3 Detroit Lions. These two teams are two of the only three teams in the NFL, if you ever want to be the New England Patriots, with 10 wins. Both of these teams are known for not winning big games, but one of them will win a big game today here, as the winner will become 11 and 3, with a win the Chargers will clinch their division, which is something that the Detroit Lions have already done. The Chargers are 3 0 against the NFC North, North opponents, but all three of them have been awfully close. Vikings and Bears each went into overtime of the Packers was down to the last second field goal. Also for the Chargers, their star rookie wide receiver Rashad Pickney will return a week earlier than expected. He got hurt week 9 with a broken collarbone and has not played since, but he will return. So Chargers Lions, let's get this one started. Here comes out the veteran quarterback Matthew Stafford of the Detroit Lions offense. Stafford has done something very well this year, and that is keeping the ball on with the Lions. He's only thrown four interceptions this year. To start off the game, it'll be Bernard Clark with the sack. Stafford was running backwards, and he's going to lose 17 there, making it second and 27. Quick start for the Chargers defense. It is now third and 19 for Detroit. Not a good start with the sack, of course, by the second rounder from Texas Southern, Bernard Clark. As on third down, Stafford has time. No, he doesn't. It'll be Bernard Clark again, the rookie. He's only had 2.5 sacks up to this point, but he already got two on this one drive. His third and three for the Chargers. Of course, Rashad Pickney, their star slot receiver, is back. But Melvin Gordon is still out and will be out for probably the remainder of the regular season. As on third down, Conway has time. He's going to look for Mike Williams, and it's brought in by Mike Williams. Darius Slay with some nice coverage, but Williams is able to hold it. He's now first and 10 of a 47 for the LA Chargers, Alvin Kamara. And Mason Conway in the backfield. It'll be a handoff for Ka for Kamara. Kamara with a spin move, and Alvin Kamara will take it 53 yards to the house. That'll be a touchdown for the Chargers, and they will be the first ones to score today. Brody Body asked, actually missed the extra point. This game is still 6 to nothing, but the Lions weren't able to get anything. The Chargers quickly have the ball back because on second down Conway he's going down the field for Mike Williams who's been great lately and Mike Williams will hole with it down to the 31 yard line big play for Mike Williams and it's first and 10 on the 31 for the Chargers as Conway has time he will look for Rashad Pickney Pickney has a first down and Rashad Pickney will get to the 6 yard line two catches for 33 yards so far for Pickney in his first game back. As on first and goal, Conway scrambling with it. Conway under pressure from Ezekiel Anza. And Ezekiel Anza will get the sack. It's third and goal on the 10 for the Chargers. Mason Conway feeling one in the Charger backfield. As Conway, he's looking for Rashad Pickney. And Pickney will come down with it. But he's going to be tackled up a one. And it's going to be fourth and very Chargers short. decided to play it safe and take the field goal. As the Lions still don't have a first down yet. And it's a big third and nine for them. Their offense... Needs to get rolling here. He's on third down. Stafford has time. He's going to look short for Eric Ebron, but he's going to be stopped by Leonard Worrell, and it's going to be fourth and three. The Chargers had a three and out, but a beautiful punt from Drew Kayser, the laser, making the line start at the two-yard line. It's on first ten on, on the two. Michael Roberts in motion. Stafford is going to hand it off short for Riddick, and he will be tackled on the one-yard line. It looked like Tredavious Wick got in the end zone. But they're going to say that's only a loss. The Lions had another three and out. And it's still 9 nothing with 7 minutes and 57 seconds left in the first half. As Conway's going to pass it. Conway. He will look for Keenan Allen. And Keenan Allen comes down with it to the 35-yard line. Chargers were able to tackle on a field goal, making it 12 nothing as it's third and two for the Lions. The Lions are still without a first down. They need one here. As will be a handoff for Theo Riddick. And Theo Riddick finally gets one. Cutting up the middle, and that'll be Marcus Williams with the tackle. It is third and ten on the 28 for Detroit. They have one first down this drive, but one is not really going to cut it. As Stafford has time, and he delivers, and he finds Golden Tate. And Golden Tate will get to the 19-yard line of the Lions offense. is finally starting to clip. Third and 13 on the 22 for Detroit. Two and a half minutes left in the first half is Stafford. Looking for Roberts. Roberts unable to get the first. And he's there's an injured player. It looks like it's Trey Boston. The three safety for the Chargers. So hopefully he's okay. Grabbing at look what looks like his butt, hip, femur. Hopefully it's not a femur. That'd be or maybe not. It's not even Trey Boston. I think that's Jock with Stanley. 
rookie corner from UCLA, not Boston. He has Jocko Stanley. Rookie cornerback Jocko Stanley pulled his groin. Will be out for the game. We don't know how long he will be out, though, but it doesn't seem like a little minor injury, so that's not good for the Chargers. It's Conway on first down. Will be sacked by Kerry Hyder Jr., the former thing went to Texas Tech. The Lions have about a minute and two timeouts to work with here before the end of the first half. As uh, Stafford on first down under pressure from Bernard Clark. And Bernard Clark with the sack. Lions call a timeout and it's second and 19. Second half now underway. Your score. Lions 3, Chargers 12. That's on second and 6 on the 31. Handoff for Alvin Kamara. Kamara trucks a defender. And Alvin Kamara will get past the 40 to about the 34-yard line. Good game so far. Great game so far. From Kamara. It is first and 10 now on the 13. Mike Williams in motion. Conway looking for Mike Williams. Williams has the first down, and Mike Williams will prance into the end zone, and the Chargers extend their lead. It is first and 10 on the 37 for the Lions. As Stafford calling out a motion, he's going to pass it. Joey Bosa pressuring him, but he will find Marvin Jones, and Marvin Jones will get to the 38 yard line. The Lions offense has been extremely slow today, as well as this drive, but for this drive's sake, it's definitely working as the Lions now have it on the 7 in 2nd and 4. Handoff for Theo Reddick. Reddick sees an open hole, and he probably did not have to go that way, but it doesn't matter as Theo Reddick will get the touchdown, and the Lions will make this one a little close. The Lions were on offense for about 6 minutes. That's a long time. So they're going to go for 2. If they want this to make it an 8-point game, and then they hope to get another touchdown and go for it again, which would tie it as Stafford will find... Marvin Jones, and just like that, it is a one-possession game. The Chargers offense returns, and so far today, it's been very solid. They were able to get a touchdown to start off the second half. As Conway, he will be sacked on first down by Darius Slay. That'll make it second and 21. It is third and 21 of a 14 for the Chargers. Conway and Kamar in the backfield. Conway will look to pass it. He's going to look deep down the field for Mike Williams, and it is hauled in by Mike Williams. He must Darius Slay, and they get it to the 32-yard line. It is second and 13 on the 24-4. The Chargers is fourth quarter underway. Your score to Lions, 11. Chargers, 19. It's Conway looking for not a wide open under Henry. He will be sacked instead by Kerry Hyder. Chargers were able to tackle on a field goal. Make it the Lions down by now 11. The Lions need to be start starting to be more aggressive. I don't know how this team is 10-3 if they're not aggressive at all. As on 2nd and 10. Stafford. He's going to look down the field and he will be intercepted by Marcus Williams. The Lions finally trying to make a big play. But it does not pay off. And Williams will get the interception. His third on the season. The Lions are very lucky that the Chargers offense was unable to get any points off of a turnover. And the Lions still have a chance to win this game. It is third and six on the 24. Stafford will hand it off to Riddick. Bit surprised about that on third down. He's only going to gain three yards. The Lions finally making a gutsy play call. It's fourth and three on the 27. This is pretty much the game right here. As Stafford and Riddick in the backfield. Stafford will pass it to Riddick. And Theo Riddick gets the first down. And the Lions still have a shot. Of the Lions seem like they are in no hurry. To get this drive done, we're almost at a two-minute warning. This will be the last play until the two-minute warning. It's going to be a fake handoff. Stafford will pass it. He has plenty of time, all the time in the world, and he will find Eric Ebron. He gets tackled at the two-yard line. It is now first and ten on the two for the Lions. Theo Riddick and Matt Stafford in the backfield. Stafford will look to pass it. Stafford looking for the end zone, and he finds Marvin Jones for the touchdown. And the Lions are now down five, but they're probably going to go for The two. Lions are going for two. They want to make it a field goal deficit. Minute 52 left in regulation. Roberts in motion. It's going to be a handoff for Theo Riddick, and he gets stuffed. He only gains about a yard, and this game, this score will stay 22-17. to 17. It's a huge play. It is third and inches. First down ends this game. Mike Williams in motion. The Chargers are going to pass it. Conway is scrambling with it. And he's going to try to run with it, but he accidentally steps out of bounds, making it 4th and 4. He should have passed it to Mike Williams, but it looked like he wanted to run with it. And a missed steppage will give the Lions a chance to win this game, and this tr the Lions still have a timeout remaining as well. Boneheaded play by the rookie quarterback. Just take a look. 
Yeah, that's just... He clearly didn't notice. Because Mason Conway decided to be a dorkfish, the Lions still have a chance of winning this game as Golden Tate will catch it. Tate will get by two Chargers defenders, and the Lions are now in the red zone, but there's an injured player, and it looks like it's a Lion player, so they have to use their final because timeout. Because the left guard, Lakin Tomlinson, got hurt, the Lions are now out of timeout as it's third and ten on the 16th. This is a major play. As Stafford, Ebron, and Theo Riddick are in the backfield. Stafford on third down. Bad pass, and the Lions are going to have to go for it on fourth and ten. This is it. It's fourth and ten on the 16th. Stafford will hand it off to Theo Riddick. I don't know what type of play call that was by Jim Caldwell, and the Lions will still end up losing. Despite a dorkfish-like play on third and inches by Mason Conway, the Lions made a few bad play calls, and the Chargers will need it. The Chargers will win, and the L.A. Chargers have clinched the AFC West division and the Los Angeles Chargers for the first time in franchise history or the first time being known as Los Angeles are in the playoffs. Obviously, the Chargers have made the playoffs, but the San Diego Chargers made the playoffs, not the Los Angeles Chargers. Despite a big win for the Chargers, they will be without their rookie cornerback, Jaco Stanley, for actually four weeks because I haven't simulated yet. So that'll be the last two regular season games and then potentially the first two rounds of the playoffs. So he might not be back until the conference championship if the Chargers were to make it. 